So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another class of PIB 247. In today's session, we'll be talking about the PIB news from 10th to 11th May 2023. And now the official notification is now out. So I hope your preparations are going well. Yeah, one thing, one question people are asking again and again that now since uh, from the syllabus of ESI, they have removed the education and health part. So whether we have to do the schemes from these two ministries or not. So guys, uh, the answer is yes, you have to do all the schemes because uh, this examination actually is a, you know, a comprehensive preparation. Hai. So if you two ministries, you don't have to be to do But if there are schemes, it can uh, uh, lead to a huge loss, right? So I would suggest you to do the schemes from those ministries as well. And yes, of course, uh, I believe this examination is a journey of uh, at least at least six months. Actually, it is a journey of one year. So I hope you must be preparing already for these two ministries, for uh, for the schemes of these two ministries. So abhi usko beech mein chhodne ka koi sense nahi hai. So I would suggest you to do those schemes as well. Already Ministry of Education or Ministry of Health ke schemes hum pichli class mein discuss kar chuke hai. So you should not ignore the ministries of these two. Uh, schemes of these two ministries, right? And today at 6 p.m. we have another class on government schemes. Uh, the same way we'll be doing it, right? And today we'll be uh, discussing the ministries of finance, uh, ministry of agriculture, and ministry of rural development. Okay. Again, 50 questions will be there. So let's talk about this session. Then Chamko to milna hi hai se. So question number one. And again today there are very less news. Aajkal pata nahi kya ho gaya hai sarkar ko. Jo news hai wo bahut zada nahi hai. Uh, which ministry or ministries has have signed MOU with Japan International Cooperation Agency for station area development along Mumbai Ahmedabad high speed rail, which in short is project smart, right? So which ministries has have signed this MOU? So remember this project smart is a joint collaboration is a joint effort of the ministry of housing and urban affairs and the ministry of railways, right? It is the joint collaboration of both of these ministries. And both these ministries have signed an MOU with Japan International Cooperation Agency, right? Now, why this MOU has been signed to get support of Japan International Cooperation Agency, which in short is JICA, for Project Smart, that is station area development along Mumbai Ahmedabad high speed rail. All right. Now, this MOU has been signed for four, has been signed for four high speed rail stations, which are Sabarmati and Surat in Gujarat. Sabarmati and Surat in Gujarat and Virar and Thane in Maharashtra out of total 12 stations in route, right? Total 12 stations on guys high speed uh, rail project mein. and this MOU has been signed for these four railway stations, right? And out of these four, Surat, Virar and Thane are the greenfield railway stations, which have developed honge, while Sabarmati is a brownfield development, right? Greenfield projects are those which are new projects, right? Let's, let's for example, ek zameen pe kuch bhi nahi hai and government is constructing or any agency is constructing anything on that. So that is a greenfield project. While renovating or updating or upgrading uh, any project is known as brownfield project. All right. So that is all about this news. So which two ministries are these? Ministry of Railways headed by Ashwini Vaishnav and Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs headed by Hardeep Singh Puri. And that's why the correct answer is option E, A and C. Let's talk about question number two then. National League Governance Division NEGD recently has organized 36 CISO Chief Information Security Officers. CISO means Chief Information Security Officers. Now, who is a CISO? CISO who knows that? CISO has the responsibility of managing of protecting uh, the information assets and the technology within an organization. Okay? CISO is an officer who has the responsibility of managing the information assets protecting the uh, information assets and technology within the organization. Okay. So for them, this uh, CISO deep dive training program was organized under Cyber Surakshan Bharat in New Delhi, under which ministry does any GD function? That is the question. Question is very basic, but you need to know about this CISO deep dive training program. So as I already told you, this was the 36th edition of CISO deep dive training program and these training programs are provided to these CISOs to protect their organizations from the cyber threat, right? Now talking about uh, more about this, so CISO training, the very first edition was launched in 2018 and it is a 
first of its kind project between the government and industry consortium which is working under the public private partnership model all right implementing agency NEGD hai clear ho gaya which of course works under the ministry of electronics and IT and it is designed for designated CISOs only theek hai jo bhi designated CISOs hai unke liye hai from center <coughs> state or UT governments <coughs> PSUs including public sector banks insurance company police security of uh, forces etc theek hai now talking about cyber surakshit bharat program so as the name says it is for protecting the cyber ecosystem of the nation to spread awareness about cyber crime and to build capacities of cisos and frontline it officials so that they can protect their own organization from the cyber attacks right it is being implemented by ministry of electronics and it and it seeks to ensure adequate safety measures of organization why same baat hai against the cyber threats or cyber attacks all right so that is all about this news and now let's come back to the question the ministry under which NEGD works is the ministry of electronics and IT and the correct answer to this question is that's why option C question number three which early childhood care and education program has been launched by ministry of women and child development headed by Smriti Zubin Nirani to promote holistic and quality early stimulation and pre-primary education so this program this program the name is Poshan Bhi Padai Bhi portion b padhai b and what is the objective of this program as the name says it has the dual objectives it is focusing on the nutritional level of the students of the children and on their education or on their study right so the name is what portion b padhai b and it has uh, it is actually early childhood care and education program so nutritional care and education dono ki baat kar rahe right now these are some of the important pointers that uh, how this program will contribute in enhancing the nutrition level and education level of the uh, children so it will focus on uh, promoting holistic and quality early stimulation and pre primary education for children number 1 it will also ensure use of developmentally appropriate pedagogies which are appropriate for the students for the children right it will provide for mother tongue as primary teacher instruction primary teacher instruction ke liye mother tongue hoga right medium different type of uh, different types of teaching learning materials will be provided like visual aids theek hai and jitne bhi alag alag tarike se teacher training material hote hain that will be provided so that the children would be able to understand uh, properly and finally it will also uh, you know it will also help the ministry in building a jan andolan in inviting the communities together so that we can ensure the nutrition and education of children together right so that is all about it and what is the name portion b padhai b option b is the correct answer question number 4 india post which works under of course the ministry of communication has signed an mou with confederation of all india traders cait and tripta technologies to facilitate operationalization of which portal right so this is a portal which has now been operationalized and for that india post has signed an mou with cait confederation of all india traders and tripta technology right and what this bharat e mart portal will do it will provide facility of pick up of consignments from the premises of traders and it also ensures delivery at the door steps of the consignees across the country so it will make the task easier for the india post all right so that is all about this news itra hi padna is tarah padne ki zarurat nahi hai bharat e-mart portal is the correct answer option c and now let's talk about the questions in short but before that if you want to have the pdf of this class you can join the telegram channel the link is provided in the description and if you want to ace the examination this year with personalized mentorship program a uh, mock test comprehensive mock test for all the phases phase 1 phase 2 and लाइव क्लासेस सब कुछ आपको यहां पे मिल रहा है सो इफ यू वांट टू एस द एग्जामिनेशन दिस ईयर यू कैन एनरोल इन दिस कोर्स एंड यू कैन एनरोल इन दिस कोर्स बाय विजिटिंग द वेबसाइट और यू कैन कॉल ऑन डबल नाइन डबल नाइन फोर डबल सिक्स डबल टू फाइव दिस नंबर ठीक है क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव विच ऑफ दी फॉलोइंग सोशल सिक्योरिटी स्कीम्स लॉन्च इन मे ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन फ्रॉम कोलकाता वेस्ट बंगाल बाय पी एम मोदी हैव कंप्लीटेड एट ईयर्स सो ऑल दीज थ्री स्कीम्स विल बी डिस्कस टूडे 
and in fact two schemes have already been discussed pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bima yojana and suraksha bima yojana these two schemes i have discussed in the previous class of previous revision class of government schemes which i took on last friday right so these three schemes are atal pension yojana jeevan jyoti bima yojana and suraksha bima yojana atal pension yojana will be discussed today so i have not taken it in detail here right so 1 3 and 5 will be the correct answer because these three schemes were launched together in may 2015 by prime minister from kolkata in west bengal and now they have completed 8 years of uh, their implementation question number 6 since the entry into force of comprehensive economic partnership agreement in may 2022 bilateral trade between india and uae has witnessed a huge growth of what percent compared to the previous year pichle saal ke comparison mein kitna growth aaya hai after coming into force of the cepa between india and uae so it has registered a 20% growth as compared to the previous year option d is the correct answer question number 7 which university is hosting y20 consultation meeting under the theme climate change and disaster risk reduction making sustainability a way of life so this y20 consultation the nodal ministry of course is the ministry of youth affairs and sports headed by anurag singh thakur and it will be conducted in university of kashmir option a is the correct answer question number 8 where has ministry of social justice and empowerment headed by dr virendra kumar has organized a national level stakeholder consultation under national action plan for skill development of pwds person with disabilities and i hope you all know there are 21 types of disabilities as per the uh, rights of person with disabilities act of 2016 right so this was organized in new delhi option e is the correct answer question number 9 my gov in collaboration with which ministry has launched yuva pratibha which is nothing but a singing talent hunt to promote indian music at the grassroots level right this is the, not that important question but aajkal examiners ka kuch nahi pata kya puch rahe ho so that's why i have put this question ministry of culture is the correct answer headed by g kishan reddy question number 10 Where has Millet Cafe been inaugurated during the Y20 consultation to inspire people about the healthy diet? Millet से related इस बार एक question मुझे लगता है आना चाहिए because we are uh, in the international year of Millet 2023 है जो कि so this Millet Cafe has been inaugurated in Ames, Rishikesh. Option D is the correct answer and Rishikesh of course is in Uttarakhand. Question number eleven. Where has James and Jewelry Export Promotion Council and we the first of its kind jewelry exposition center india jewelry exposition 2023 right so ye pehle bhi hum pad chuke ek bar it was in new delhi uh, it was in dubai option a is the correct answer question number 12 which ministry or ministries has or have organized exhibition showcase showcasing india's women led initiatives and the name of this exhibition is echo that is also important what is the name of the exhibition echo uh, economy which saves climate and health leads to greater opportunities so this was organized by two ministries which are ministry of women and uh, child development and ministry of external affairs option e is the correct answer a and c and the last question for today through the land boards trade amount of rupees 18000 crore in 2016 17 has reached to what in 2022 2023 and over dash passengers have moved right to wo kitna bad gaya hai that is the question it has been increased to 30000 crore and 20 lakh passengers have moved option a is the correct answer all right guys so that is all for today i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear and i will see you at 6 pm in the government schemes class till then keep studying and keep studying hard goodbye take care and god bless